Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Tarot Dreamer. Thank you for all my new subscribers. We're nearly at the 300 mark so thank you guys. I'm really grateful for everyone who is helping me to grow my channel on YouTube. Um, these are the new weekly um, pick a card tarot readings. So we have three cons here, one, two and three. And these are for our water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So I'll give you a moment to focus on... Uh, which column you're drawn to and then we'll get into your reading okay you may hear the rain outside um, it's very overcast in the UK today and uh, to top it off I have a frozen shoulder guys so I'm in quite a lot of pain at the moment um, hence the readings are being uploaded um, a bit later I do apologise for that, but uh, I'm finding it difficult to actually uh, shuffle the cards and move my uh, move my shoulder. But hopefully that will improve soon. Okay, so for those that chose column one for our lovely water signs, let's get into your reading. And first off, your fortune card for this week, guys, is mature woman. Mature woman. So you could be dealing with somebody in your life that's obviously older than you, such as a mother or grandmother figure. It could also be you. So let's see what your tarot message is for this week. And that is three of wands, three of fire. And that is abundance. Wow, things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So a three of wands is about... In the normal tarot, it's the guy standing there at the water's edge and um, he's looking out. He's already made his plans of what he's going to do with the two of, of wands. And now with the three of wands, he's starting to put those plans into action. And that's the same with obviously the three of fire here. This is the angel tarot deck. So there's something to do with an older female figure here and it could be actually a boss at work but there is going to be a more abundance coming in linked with this figure here and it's saying start to make long-term plans for your future because things are looking very good so let's see what your angel message is for this week and see how it ties in with the rest of the reading recovery so here there could have been some kind of illness that affected this person, but you may have had to look after this person in some way, become a carer, and you may have taken time out from your job or your work. But there is recovery coming in now, and it's going to help achieve, and you can move on and start to move forward with the plans that you already had made before with the Two of Wands. So, like I said, the Three of Wands is finally being able to put your plans into action and this could have been an illness that you're also recovering from that has actually held you back for the last few weeks and finally it seems you're over that hurdle now and you can start to move on and start to achieve and bring in the abundance that you want okay so that is our group one let's move on to group two again guys if you could like comment and subscribe i've been getting a few comments lately which is very nice um but uh, let's see if we can get to 300 subscribers which would be fantastic okay for those that chose column two for our water signs let's see what your fortune card holds for you this week and it is concern Okay, so there could be some kind of concerning situation coming up this week that's made you stop and think. Let's see how this ties in with the other cards. Your tarot message is life experience. Now, life experience is the tower card in the Rider Waite Tarot. And that normally is an abrupt change that's going to be coming in. And it's normally an unstoppable change um, that is coming in. Uh, which can cause conflict, chaos, but it can also push you in the right direction here. 
And it says, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So in fact, you could be feeling a bit concerned about this change that's coming in, but it is going to be maybe in your favour. Let's see what your angel message is for this week. And it is, listen to your intuition. So yes, listen to your intuition with this card. There is going to be an abrupt change that's going to be coming in this week. And it is going to cause some people, it may not be you, but it could cause some people some kind of concern here. But it says, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition and be guided by that. Maybe you're going to hear of some kind of news that is going to bring in an abrupt change. But there is changes happening for you if you chose this group. Group two. And finally we move on to column three. Okay. And your fortune card for column three is child. So there could be a child involved in this situation here this week. A child that is on your mind. Let's see what the other cards have and how they connect with this card. So your tarot message is the Knight of Water, the Knight of Cups. And it's emotional, romantic, enthusiastic and contemplative. So it's falling in love or a wedding proposal. And it's the need to balance your emotions, an invitation to a social event. So this could be actually someone you have a child with, a connection with, or you're thinking of having a child with, and you are finally getting married, tying the knot. That could be it. But let's see what your angel message is and how it ties in with this. And it's big happy changes. So this is a welcome event, and it could be a social event you're, that you're going to. But I have a feeling it is indeed to do with making a commitment to somebody that you could have a child with or you're thinking of having a family with. So that's a lovely, a lovely group of cards there for you if you chose that card, uh, that group. So that's group three. OK, guys, so as I said, this was for our water signs. So Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. I hope you've enjoyed your weekly readings. And once we reach 777 subscribers, um, I will be launching into our full love and relationship tarot readings. So if you're interested in those, please do subscribe to my channel. It is free. And um, yeah, watch out for those. So as usual, guys, always believe in yourself, follow your dreams and stay blessed.